Hi everyone, it's Andrea and today I'm going to do a flip through the Sweet Shop colouring book illustrated by Chris Price. A fantastical and splendid display of divine confectionery creation and exquisite candid delights. Now I saw this on somebody else's channel, I'm not sure who it was, it might have been Shaleen's. I might have been Sweet Night Girl, I'm not 100% sure, but I, there was one picture in it that I saw when they were doing a quick flip through. I thought, I, I've got to get that book. <laughs> so I ordered it. It's unusual because it it doesn't open that way, it opens upwise. So it's it's top opening. And they've got all these different candy and chocolate stores and ice cream and soda parlours and things like that. So it's very detailed. There is a lot of black in it, so you wouldn't have to colour that, so that's cool. Um, so it's kind of almost grayscale in the fact that, that they've got some shadow on here. You just need to colour in the rest of the thing. So this is a nice one. Confectionery, ice cream, stop me and buy one. I love it. And sweets and chocolates and... They're just lovely pictures in this one. Chocolate teapot. Traditional delights. There's another one. Imperial scales. So I think quite a lot of these they're both UK and American, so it's it's great, you get a bit of everything. So some things that you'll recognise, and here's a French one. Le Cour Chocolat. Heart-shaped chocolates. Chocolate creams. I like them. Chocolate hearts. Pralines. I love pralines. Who doesn't like a good praline? <laughs> but look at how beautiful these illustrations are. Oh, I just, I do love going into an old fashioned sweet shop. So we do still have a few around in the UK. Um, there is a, a sweet canter in the market uh, in Newport. It's not an old fashioned sweet shop in a sense, but it is in the market. And they do have all the sweets in the jars. Um, there was one in Mevagissi. I went in, there's one in Cardiff. If there's one there, I do tend to go in them, because I like them. Look at this, full cream chocolate. Mm -mm -mm. So this is more of, a, I would say, an American thing, a country fair, but it's, it's just lovely. World chocolate, and then you've got the different chocolates here, so sandwich milk, fries dipping, milk chocolate, Jersey cream, grapefruit cream. And so on, and then you got all the packets down the side here as well. It's lovely. One of my favourite sweets, Love Hearts. You can still get these, although they have more modern things on them. And like now, text me. But these are the ones I remember: First Love and Miss Me and Little Kiss and My Hero and I Love You and Oh, I still love Love Hearts. They're so sweet, though. This is an English soda fountain. Now I don't think I've ever been in an English soda fountain shop. Um, but they did used to have them, particularly in the 50s. But the orange tonic and there's lime. And the ice cream is lovely. This! I get so... Oh, it just makes me want to eat chocolate. I've got some Turkish Delight over the, by the sofa. I'm going to go and munch on that in a minute and make a cup of tea. So this is a Christmassy one. So it's Santa's chocolate bar. So we've got your little stockings with all the... The chocolates in it, and sugar treats, and there's Santa. There's a lovely one. Another one for this time of year. Again, chocolate money. This is sort of like what we have this time of year. We, we but we have like one p and two p on it, and ten p. <laughs> Sometimes you get the ones with the animals on it, but they're like that. Chocolate coins. I like them. This is the picture I saw that I wanted it. And it's because it's just got Cadbury's milk chocolate and it's got the milk pouring into the bar. And I just love it. And the cobbles on the pavement, they're great. Oh, look at these, I could, oh. Who doesn't love a box of chocolates? And you know, this time of year, maybe it's better to color them than to eat them, eh? That's so Mr. Softy Ices, freshly made. Oh, with a flake in it. Yeah, you've got to have a flake in it. I mean, look at all this. This is, oh. It just makes you hungry looking through this book. I just love it. Here we go. Here's some more. The little shovels in it so you can get what you want out of them. Eat. 
Now this, this reminds me of sweet shops that I used to go in. Round Trees Fruit Gums. I love fruit gums. They still make them. They're lovely. Kiosk, the sweet shop. By appointment of His Majesty the King. <laughs> so, yeah, and then we've got Tiffin Bubblegum. Fry's Tiffin Bubblegum. Fry's, uh, fry's Macaroon Milk Chocolate. Fry's Chocolate. There's lots of adverts for fries there. I'm surprised I haven't got fries five boys. I mean, look at this. It's just so in-depth. There's Sherbet Fountain. I still love those as well. And I'm not particularly on licorice, but it's the only thing I like licorice on is the Sherbet Fountains. The Improved American Ice Cream Freezer. Oh, look at that. Oh, yum, 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 yum. I just think this is fantastic, this book. Confit de fruits. So that's sort of like a Frenchy thing. Frenchy thing. French type thing. And you got the I think it's like because you get you can get fruits that are sweets, but they're fruit flavoured sweets in the shape of said fruit. That, that sounds so confusing. Truffles, rum truffle, mint truffle, hola, walnut truffle, lee lay truffle. All different truffles. Here's another one, fries. The tuck shop. That's a very British thing, a tuck shop. Fry's chocolate, Cadbury's chocolate, Cadbury's cocoa essence, essence. And then we've got uh, Cray Dunn biscuits, Bourneville cocoa, Souchard cocoa, Cadbury's fries in the window with the adverts. Cadbury's Mexican chocolate, I'm not sure what that is. Try one, two and six. So that's old money. This one's got the crown on it, it's the coronation. So we've got a coronation one. So chocolate milk, chocolate, coronation chocolates. I just think this is fantastic. Oh, it's just making me hungry. The basket one, that's nice. So this is a, like a, the fairgrounds, so we've got like a carousel. And lots of different like toffee apples and Things like toffee apples, oh gosh. Toffee apples, I ask you, really? This is like um, mint imperials or bubble gum machines. So yeah, so we could do that in all different colors, which would be nice. Chocolate cream eggs. Who doesn't like a cream egg, eh? See, I mean about how beautiful this is. These illustrations are absolutely stunning. There's a Valentine's one, so we'll, we will do that around uh, 4th February if we can. We might not be able to, but if we can, we might do. Here we got more sherbet fountains. Rainbow humbugs, so you know what they're going to be look like. No till. Scales, it's just all this old fashioned stuff. Ah, oh, Blackpool Rock. What is a sweet shop book without Blackpool Rock and his candy canes back and stuff like that? But Blackpool Rock, can't go wrong with it. Even a picture of Blackpool Tower. More ices and various sweets and that's it. And then it just tells you a bit about the Chris Price and Delisa who uh, illustrate the book. And then on the back it says, step into the winsome world of the sweet shop Welcome to the charming, whimsical world of the sweet shop where every jar, bowl and shelf offers a sweet new discovery. It's unlike anything you've ever seen, let alone coloured. So it's absolutely lovely. So that's the, the back and that's the front. I'm really, I really love this book. I can't wait to get started in it. They do have a curiosity shop one as well, which I will hopefully get at some point soon. So that's it for this. It's actually quite a long flip through. It's only 10 minutes long. I hope you've enjoyed this. If so, just leave me a comment down in the comments box and I will see you all soon. Bye.